Breaking news this morning, CNN host and chef Anthony Bourdain has died of an apparent suicide. He was reportedly found by a friend in his hotel room in France this morning. Bourdain was there working on an upcoming episode of his award-winning CNN series. He was 61 years old. The North Little Rock School District has a new interim superintendent. The board voted for Bobby Acklin last night, 5-1. to one. He's worked as a part-time advisor and trainer for new teachers since August. Acklin has superintendent experience with Dollarway and Warren School Districts. The board interviewed candidates in May but decided to go the interim route. A woman could be charged with murder in the death of her newborn. Police say Angela Miller injected meth while staying at a Benton motel before going into labor. She was six months pregnant. The baby died at the hospital. That's very sad. It's I don't see how, why somebody would do that, you know, maybe it was irrational. But that baby will be in heaven because that baby didn't have a, a opportunity to, to make its own choice. So it's heaven bound. Miller is from Oregon and is being held without bail. She could face more charges. In a breaking news update, police released the names of the drivers in a deadly crash that killed a 12-year-old girl. The report says Brandon Rogers and Michael Scales were both speeding when they lost control and wrecked on the Riverfront Drive in North Little Rock. Anaya Dilworth was killed. Scales was the driver of the Crown Victoria that split in half. He was rushed to the hospital, and then the driver of the Mustang and his passenger declined medical treatment. Police think they were street racing. Another case of street racing reported in central Arkansas, and it forced deputies to step up patrols. Fox 16's Tyler Thomason shows us where deputies have found several teens reaching speeds of 100 miles an hour. We're looking for everything. Guns are drawn, and the targets are moving. Way more than a 45, let's put it that way. With windows down and radar up, a deputy sits at the corner of Kerr Station and Graham in Lono County. Some call it a trouble spot. By the way they speed through the stop sign, I can, I mean, it's, somebody's either going to get T-boned or they're going to flip. Connie Cool lives nearby with two kids. The most concerning part is coming out here and seeing somebody wreck. Authorities in central Arkansas are on alert after street racing led to a deadly crash in North Little Rock Wednesday. It was just hours later, the Lone Oak County Sheriff's Office tells me deputies witnessed a street race here on Highway 67-167 between the Cabot exits. It's a zero tolerance policy that we have because it's so dangerous. In this case, speeds reached 100 miles an hour and everyone involved was 16 years old or younger. How can you justify driving 100 plus miles an hour? I'm told reports of street racing come in from time to time here, but in this rural county that covers 800 square miles, the sheriff's office says only two or three deputies are out patrolling on any given shift. We do our best with what we have. For now, an extra focus remains on the roads and reckless drivers who become the target. I know the adrenaline's fun, but the aftermath of something bad happens is not worth it. And that was Tyler Thomason reporting several teens were sighted in a street race reported in Lono County. Imagine getting off work to find your car on fire. That's what happened to one man in Conway Wednesday night. Jamie Gates says a portable battery used to charge electronic devices started the fire in his car, and that's what it looks like inside now. He told us it was a 6,000 MAH slim battery made by Brookstone. It was unplugged and turned off when it ignited. As you can see, the inside of his car is destroyed. Pretty obvious, you know, when when you look, you can see kind of where the where the fire started and where it burned hottest the longest. Gates tweeted to the company, and they told him to file a claim with their claims department. Little Rock and Conway Fire Department say this is not common. A former lobbyist now awaiting a sentence for bribing three Arkansas senators. Rusty Cranford changed his plea to guilty yesterday. He bribed John Woods, Hank Wilkins, and an unnamed state senator who's still in office. The senators received thousands of dollars plus tickets to a World Series. In exchange, they did favors for Cranford and his clients at his Missouri-based health care organization. 
Voters approved legalizing medical marijuana last year, and almost 18 months later, it's still not available. Now, a speed bump may bring that already slow moving process to a screeching halt. A company not selected to grow the marijuana is now accused of trying to bribe a member of the Medical Marijuana Commission. The commissioner was not named in the attorney general's letter. We do know he did not accept the bribe from Natural State Agronomics. In a statement, Natural State Agronomics denies the allegations, and I quote, Natural State is in discussion with new counsel as to the appropriate venue to remedy these slanderous allegations by the state. And let's not forget the state Supreme Court will soon rule on medical marijuana cultivation licenses. A Pulaski County judge blocked the scoring process earlier this year, saying it's unconstitutional. Here's Governor Asa Hutchinson on the new accusations. I don't see that as impacting the Supreme Court's decision, which is largely on the procedural area. I think you're going to see two different tracks. You're going to see uh, that investigation uh, ongoing. Secondly, uh, we will uh, get the guidance from the court and hopefully sooner. Hutchinson opposes the state's medical marijuana amendment. If the Supreme Court rules to block the licenses, it's possible the entire process could start over. Arkansas lawmakers in the nation's capital pushing for a change to the Senate's farm bill. It prohibits American producers from extending credit to Cuban buyers. People in Cuba eat more rice per person than any other country in the Western Hemisphere, meaning big business for Arkansas rice farmers. It would be great for Arkansas farmers, but it would also be good for the Cuban people in the sense that they need a, they need a stable food supply. The Senate is now working on its version of the Farm Bill. The House voted down a first draft last month. The change is more likely to be attached to a large spending bill later this year.